Also making news tonight, according to the World Health Organization, obesity affects more than half a billion people around the world. The question now is, how can we reverse this alarming trend? Crystal Darling explains. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, almost half of Latin America and the Caribbean people are overweight and obese. The Bahamas leads the region in per capita terms. Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Dwayne Sand, says the Bahamas now faces an obesity crisis. We bear probably one of the uh, most significant burdens of overweight and obesity, myself included. So if you look at the population of Bahamians, 80% of us are either overweight or obese. Now we like to say we big bone, we like to say that we just heavy set, we like to say we solid. The challenge is that obesity and overweight comes with huge consequences in terms of non-communicable diseases, cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes. And so a lot of Bahamians are dropping dead because of the NCDs in large part due to overeating and not exercising adequately. Due to the crisis of obesity, we spoke to Solomon's Fresh Markets health coach, Melissa Major, who offered advice on how to reshape our diets in order to avoid being overweight, obese, and other health-associated risks. Your nutritional meal plan, you need your protein, you need your carbs, you need your fats. All of those things are considered healthy, not just um, fruits and vegetables. Now, mind you, we do need to eat more plant-based because the reality is most persons are not getting their, let's say, five to six servings of fruits and vegetables in um, per a day, not a week, per a day. We need to get five to six servings of fruits and vegetables. Can't forget the fiber, right? So high fiber foods, lean protein, complex carbs, plant-based, and there you have it. That's that's pretty much the scope of what your nutritional, when you sit down to eat, that's what your meal should look like. Major added that how we eat and how much we eat can also fuel weight gain. If we watch our portion sizes, that's very important because, you know, one of the reasons why we have the obesity crisis really is that our portion sizes are way too big. Um, we're eating too frequently. so. Three meals a day is okay. Three to four hours in between um, each meal. Try not to eat three hours before you go to bed and you start all over again in the morning. And always, please, please hydrate, hydrate. Get that water in, it's hot outside. For most people, adjusting to a healthier lifestyle will be challenging. But as we've learned today from health coach Melissa Major, it is definitely not impossible. I'm Crystal Darling, Zen Nest Network News.